In most dogs and cats, blood is collected from one of several veins. The cephalic vein on the leg is used when small amounts are needed, and the jugular vein on the neck is commonly used when larger samples are needed. This blood is collected into a sterile syringe and immediately deposited into one or more blood tubes called vacutainers. These vacutainers, as the name implies, contain a vacuum that sucks the blood into the tube once the syringe penetrates the stopper. The color of the rubber stopper provides a quick means of identifying if any added chemicals are present in the tube. The lavender top tube contains a chemical called EDTA that prevents blood from clotting. Blood must generally be placed in this tube relatively quickly as blood will often clot within a minute or two of being drawn out of the vein. Once the unclotted blood is mixed with the EDTA, it will remain as unclotted whole blood, meaning all of the components of the blood are still present. The other tube that is quite commonly used is the red-topped tube. This tube does not contain any chemicals and therefore blood will naturally clot within several minutes after collection. Blood contains solid components, mainly red and white blood cells, and a liquid component called serum. Clotted blood cells in a red top tube can be separated from the serum by placing the tube into a machine called a centrifuge and allowing it to spin for 5 to 10 minutes. Always be sure to balance the sample with a similar quantity of water or blood on the opposite side of the centrifuge. This is necessary to keep the instrument spinning smoothly and in balance while spinning. This spinning forces the heavier blood cells to the bottom of the tube and leaves the serum at the top. This process is necessary because it is serum that contains many of the chemicals produced by the organs. Some red top tubes contain a separating gel that forms a layer between the cells and serum upon centrifuging. This often makes the serum more stable for transport or a bit easier to remove from the tube. The red top tube will sometimes contain a piece of paper or plastic that stimulates and speeds up the clotting process. Other tubes used in veterinary labs contain various chemicals giving each one a different purpose. When submitting a blood sample to a veterinary lab, you will need to consult the lab manual to determine which tubes they require. For example, an immune profile requires a blue top tube, along with a more common red top and lavender top tube. Manuals will generally indicate the amount of blood the laboratory needs to run the test. It should be emphasized here that utmost safety should be practiced when dealing with uncapped syringes and potentially infectious blood. Always be careful not to inadvertently stick yourself while handling a sharp needle. Special safety holders have been developed to reduce the risk of sticking yourself while inserting the syringe and needle into the vacutainer. You should always immediately dispose of the needle into a sharps container once the blood has been transferred.